up, Team Hollywood? And what's up, my Madden 25 fans? It's your man, Hollywood Sports. If you are new to my channel, thank you for clicking on my video and welcome. Welcome to Hollywood Sports. Guys, we are here to talk about Madden 25. I want to give you my thoughts on the game. Not really give you my review, but just kind of tell you how I feel about the game. That's what I all. That's all I want to do, guys. And I know it might be a little different for most people. I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion on how they feel about the game. But I'm gonna give you my thoughts. My thoughts. That's it. Um, one thing I want to say, guys, is that we know the game has coverage issues. And the game has other issues also, guys. I think they just need to tune this baby up. But overall, I will say my gameplay experience is the best I've ever had in Madden. When I talk about the overall experience, you know, um, I think the, I feel like it's more of an NFL broadcast than it was in Madden 24 or any other Madden. Um, it's probably because of the new commentary. Um... And the crowd, everything is balanced in Madden. You know, a lot of times EA, they have an issue with balancing things out. But I think the crowd noise, the crowd reactions, the commentary, um, I think the way the commentary teams complement each other on the commentary, it all feels really good in this game, okay? Again, the game atmosphere feels more like an NFL broadcast. Um, the gameplay is not repetitive that's another thing I'm realizing about this game it's not repetitive guys it's not the same tackling animations over and over it's not the same gameplay over and over and over I feel you it's, it's a it's a difference there is a difference between this game and Madden 24 okay and it doesn't seem repetitive just like college football 25 it is not a repetitive gameplay okay uh, we see Jaden Daniels throwing an interception right there. He's going to take it back to the house. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. I love football. Well, anyway, guys, you know, the crowd reactions, the sound, the new commentary teams. You got Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt. I love them. Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt, they mish, they, they work together. Even though she's a play-by-play -play for basketball, she works well in this game. I like the, the lines they have in this game. I like the way her and Brock Hewitt. And I always like Brock Hewitt, guys. You might be new to him, but he broadcasts a lot of Washington games. Washington Husky games, Washington Cougars. Um, he brought Seahawks games a lot. He is a very good commentary to Brock Hewitt, man. So I think they're the best in the game. Kate Scott and Brock Hewitt. But I do like Mike Tirico and Greg Olson. Now, some people say... Um, Mike Tirico sounds a little robotic at times. Sometimes he does, but most times he he sounds like his his self on TV when he's calling football games. Um, and Greg Olson, I've always liked him how he transitioned from being a, a, a all world tight end basically, and uh, and now he's a broadcaster. So I like I like the people they chose, you know, in this game. So I really like the new commentary. It really feels good when you're playing the game. Um, and they and they really go good back and forth. It doesn't sound like they recorded separately. I don't know if they did or not, but it, it hey, it works, man. It works. Um, let's see. Um, there's more animations to fit the gameplay situations. I feel this year they added a lot more animations, catch animations, blocking animations, tackling animations. Um, a lot of them are one-to-one -one animations. I don't see a lot of two-man animations. Um, the line play, their interactions is a lot better. Could be a lot better, but they're working with old tech and it's an offensive line. They haven't really rebuilt this, the trenches yet. And hopefully they can do that one day. Hopefully they're doing it behind the scenes slowly but surely. But that, it's going to take a lot of work with all the line stunts, double, double team blocking, all that stuff, man. They need to get all of that, you know. Uh, 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 picking up the blitzes, but they did let you see where your blitzes are coming from. Uh, you can read the mic. I like all that stuff. Okay, all of it works. Um, um, there's no warping. I don't see any speed boom burst in the game. You know, the game's trying to make up for situations, and that's why I think the extra animations in this game really makes it not non-repetitive and makes it more balanced. There's more animations for more situational situations in the game offensively and defensively you know whether it be tackling 
uh, whether it be pass, and the pass trajectories in the game are improved. There's more pass trajectories, and I think that improves the gameplay too, guys. Um, to me, the gameplay is cleaner than Madden 24. It's a lot cleaner. It plays better than Madden 24, even with all the problems it has. Hopefully, they can tighten this game up. We know when they put out patches and updates, I wouldn't say updates, maybe patches, it ruins something else. Hopefully, guys, they can tighten this game up without ruining it. It may change. I don't mind them changing the way the game plays, but just that where it's not broken. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we have to. Maybe the game, the style of gameplay changes based on the update and patches, but just don't break anything. That's all I'm saying. But they just need to tighten it up, especially with the uh, the physics, man. The, uh, the physics, the tackling physics. It, it, it looks good. Animations are blending well. But I think they just need to tighten it up just a little bit. It's not perfect. It's the first year. I think they really got physics in this game. Um, I, I showed you guys a video uh, that shows the physics and the momentum in the game. Um, it, it's really working well. I think that's why the game is playing really a lot better than Madden 24. Um, I love the way they the Boom Tech is working. They did a good job with Boom Tech. Hopefully they'll keep continuing because we know with Madden, they don't build off their successes. They start over every year, start over every year, start over. They don't build on what they have, okay? So Boom Tech is great, man. Um, the physics-based tackling, I think it, it, it's good. For the first year, it's, it's good, okay? It's not excellent, it's not great, but it's good. And you can notice the difference in gameplay, right? A lot better in gameplay, guys. Um, player positioning matters in the game now. I, I got some breakdowns on that. You see player positioning. And a lot of people think it's bad tackling. Okay, just like they said, the hit stick, you got to get the right angle on the hit sticks, right? Now, or the guy can break tackle, spin off, whatever. The running, the running in this game is a lot better. They're juking more, right? You got more control. Even the CPU uh, uh, players are running, uh, running really, really well, man. So, I don't think it's the tackling, guys. It's just the physics-based tackling. They're coming in at different angles, and they're not getting good hits on the body. So, if they only get an arm on them or, or a bump, they're not going to go down, guys. And I got a video showing that. I got, I got a few videos coming up talking about physics. Um, so, I think if they can just tighten this game up, man, it will be fine. The momentum works. You see momentum in the game with height, weight, right? size all that is working in the physics and that's new to us okay so we gotta again we're, we gotta start examining um gameplay a little bit different we see missed tackles yeah but what what caused that missed tackle are you looking at positioning are you looking at the physics are you looking at the weight and size maybe a little corner is trying to bring down a, a six foot three wide receiver or a punishing running back like Derrick Henry, right? A corner blitz or somebody trying to bring, that's not gonna work. The physics are working, okay? The physics are working, guys. Um, start looking at replays more and you will see the game differently. I watch a lot of replays. I watch a lot of film on this game. I watch myself playing. I, I go back and look at the gameplay and I see and I'm thinking it's the game, it's not the game, it's me. When you, we say the line don't pick up blitzes, and then you, you go look at the replay and look at it, it wasn't the game fault, it was your fault. You didn't see that blitz coming, right? Okay, guys, but what I'm saying, if you watch more replays in this game and analyze the footage, go back and do some uh, film watching, guys. Go watch film. Go watch film. NFL players, they watch a ton of film. At least the great ones do. Watch film. And you will see the difference of what you're looking at. Basically, what's actually happening in the game. And you're going to be like, oh, no wonder that happened. Oh, no wonder this happened. Oh, I looked at his ratings. Oh, I wonder. That's why that happened. You got to look at all that, guys. I think the gameplay is different, especially in college football 25. With wear and tear and all that stuff. We got to look at this game differently. When the ratings change, right? Um, you can you got coverage shells. 
you got to consider all of that. You got to consider the ratings for each team. It, it doesn't feel like when you play the Raiders or you play the, the Bengals or you play Dallas in this game, they don't. They feel like actually different teams. And Madden 24 on down, every team played exactly the same, only with different speed ratings, in my opinion. Okay? The gameplay was exactly the same with every team. But if you'll notice in this game, now, one thing I forgot to tell you guys, my thoughts on this game is only playing the CPU. I have not played online yet. We know there's a jungle online. And I've always, I've always said to myself, if they make this game good enough where I can get a real good simulation challenge playing offline against the CPU, I don't need to go online to get my challenge fix or my competitive fix in because I can get it right here. And I'm going to get a more realistic game playing the CPU. And I'm feeling that right now. That's why I haven't been online trying to get my competitive fix. I love the way this game playing. I love the competitiveness. I love the challenge. Okay? So I love that stuff, guys. So I might not go online, but I, I'm going to go out there and give people a little taste of Hollywood. A lot of people want to play me. It's fine. Um, but yeah, guys, man, I'm telling you, every team feels different. The gameplay is not repetitive. Uh, but go watch more replays and more film. Um, uh, EA truly tune up this game and fix the faults in Madden. The gameplay rating in this game could be about an 8.5 to a 9. Okay. Again, they got a few more things to add to this game to, to really, really take us to the next level. And Madden needs, it's time for Madden to go to the next level. But right now, the game that we have in our hands, if they fix it, okay, the issues that we're having, this game could be an 8.5 to a 9. This would be the best Madden game they've ever made. Okay? A lot of people want to know which game do I think is the best. Now, I love both games, college and NFL. But if I had to pick one, I would say EA Sports College Football 25 is a better made game. Only because they built it from scratch. Yeah, they got, they're got they using the same engine and a lot of the same animations. But they built this game from scratch. Okay, guys? And it, it, you can tell the AI plays a lot better in College Football 25. But Madden, I'm telling you guys, it's creating competition for Madden. And Madden has to keep up. And this game has jumped this year. This game has jumped this year. Okay. Now, the one thing I was thinking, because EA Sports College Football had time. They had three or four years to work on the game. So now, the things that they 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 got a chance because they had the time to hammer out they don't have time to really go in and dig in deep and Madden but now they can take that tech and transfer it over to Madden not necessarily the features but the AI tech that they cleaned up for college football they can slowly integrate that in Madden and give us better gameplay okay but I think this game could be an eight and a half or nine okay right now I'm loving it guys even with the faults it feels like an NFL game, but it's a it's a wait and see with Madden. It's a wait and see, okay. I haven't really dug digged into franchise mode yet, but I know they're gonna get it. They're gonna get on it, guys. They're gonna get on it because you know Dynasty mode is gonna improve big time, big time. They already set their foundation. College football is gonna be outstanding, man. They probably bring in something like game 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 day Saturday into the game, right? But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think. I'm Hollywood Sports. Hey, guys, on the way out, hit that subscribe button if you're new. Hit that like button. Hit that notification bell so you'll be back for some more videos. I'm Hollywood Sports. Thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you on my next video.